breaking his silence 44 hours after his razor-thin electoral loss. Jair Bolsonaro stopped short of congratulating Lula da Silva on his victory or even acknowledging defeat. But he said he would respect Brazil's constitution. As long as I am president of the republic and a citizen, I will keep following all our constitution's mandates. Bolsonaro did, however, encourage the road-blocking protests by his supporters across the country. The current popular movements are the result of indignation and feelings of injustice at how the electoral process took place. Many of his supporters believe the election was fraudulent, echoing the far-right incumbent's repeated claims without ever providing any proof. Some Bolsonaro supporters are even calling for military intervention. We hope for an intervention by the army so that justice is restored. Would it be a coup d'etat? No, no. No, no, a coup d'etat is what's going on right now. Bolsonaro took 49.1% of the vote to Lula's 50.9, the tightest presidential race since Brazil's return to democracy in 1985. They'll have to accept the results like we did last time. We want a better Brazil, so we chose a better president. But Bolsonaro was left with little room for potentially rejecting the results after international leaders and even some of his closest allies publicly recognized Lula's victory. The Supreme Court said it considered that by authorizing the government transition, Bolsonaro was recognizing the results.